Hello everyone, this is Thor Young with Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to do a recap for you on my FedEx trade today. Uh, during this recap, I'd like to most specifically highlight putting together your pre-market uh, trade to go ahead and get into it and kind of be prepared for what you want to have happen. Um, one of the most important factors that I think is really important is making sure the stock has a real catalyst. And the reason why I say this is because in order for our different things that we're doing, our, our stock charts to work, in order for our moving averages to work, in order for price levels to work, all of these things work really just based upon our own inherent values, what we think it's worth, what we think it's not worth, and that supply and demand battle. So keeping that in mind, these things work the best when there are the most traders. And if you're using moving averages and you're using shorter term things like day trading strategies like we use, momentum strategies, you specifically want the stocks that day traders are looking at, not just institutions, but specifically day traders, because then our strategies work better. So while I'm looking at this and I'm hoping to get a fill here, I'm all out at 147.60 if we get all the way down on my FedEx trade here. What I'm thinking for FedEx is a rising devil. It had an earnings miss. Um, it had um, some downgrades for its analysts. So there's a lot going on with FedEx today. So I went ahead out and I pulled some levels off the daily and I got my little plan put together here. I liked that this level in pre-market was the highest it sold off. I always use this pre-market level. Um, just because it really um, helps out and also for rising devils I like using the two minute chart just to eliminate a little bit of the speed so what I was looking for here with FedEx and FedEx although it being um, gapped down wasn't on short selling restriction so this made it excellent uh, for the rising devil because we, we were gapped down enough uh, that we could use it but we weren't gapped down so much we had to worry about using a limit order so that made it a lot easier so what I after I figured out that I really want to play this stock, you can actually see here in the uh, chat here. I had actually just posted that FedEx was the only stock that I was looking at. I decided I wanted to do a Rising Devil. Now, Rising Devil classically you use VWAP as your trigger, but I personally have found that the strategy itself, the strategy itself, sorry, works great on um you know a multitude of different um. Um, setups. I was using this. Um, I'm sorry. I'm a little like yes. All right. We got filled. We got to my target level of 147.60. That's very exciting. All out there at FedEx. Cool. Now I can concentrate a little bit better. So as the um, stock pulled up, I decided I would use the high of this uh, most recent pre-market area as the total of my for my short. So basically what I'm waiting for was for FedEx to come up and break through 152.24 or respect it either way. And I would have went short on the way down or if it broke it, I go short as it reclaims. So sure enough, it broke through. It held 153 and then came down. So I went ahead and let it pull back up a little bit, confirm that it was going in my direction. I saw some really big buyers coming in. A lot of things really indicated that we were going there. So I went ahead and took the short. Had a nice little move down, so I took a small partial just to kind of lock it in because it was moving pretty erratically. So in case it went against me, that locked me in a little bit. And then it pulled down here, and I locked in just a little bit more at 150. Pulled back up, held VWAP. Now was another opportunity for a good entry, so I went ahead and added short, short as it reclaimed my level, and then broke over, and then more partials as we went all the way down. Just a crazy trade. This initial entry here was 200 shares. I had about a 50-cent risk, so $100 trade, I can handle that. So I took 200 shares here. These ads went back up to 200 because I had profit. So all in all, this trade uh, ended up, I'm really, um, I, I think I'm about $500, $600 on this trade all out. Let me Actually, let me go ahead. And, yeah. All right. So that's where we are. So it's, it's a good day. So now these levels that we use are just magic. All right. And I know they talk about that all the time, but this is why. You can see using price action, right, and level two for my indicator of when to go short, and all those sure but it's these levels that I was trading off of because it broke above pre-market and then came back under it it came back up to it a little bit and was respecting it I went ahead and took that short then I was able to get down now look here my initial target after I went in was 147.60 I had pulled this level um, from the from the daily charts so I really thought that this was a significant uh, point of support so my hope was to get all the way to 147.60 which is exactly where I got and you can tell it held up to that and bounced quite a bit but I'm in it now. I'm all out. I'm all done for the day. And uh, 
feeling really good about that. So I hope everybody enjoys my uh, recap here on FedEx. Uh, basically, the main thing I want to hi highlight on this is that in the morning, it's really important to whittle down to that one good stock. All right, that you can trade or two good stocks. It's really hard to watch five or six stocks. I don't care how many monitors you have. You only have two eyes, you know, so it's just really hard to watch all of those. So for me, um, there was only one stock for me today and it was FedEx because it was the only stock that had a 100% sure catalyst. It had lots of pre-market volume um, for a stock its size. The spread actually was relatively reasonable. Um, so there was a lot we could do with FedEx today. Rising devil strategy using uh, price levels and we're all the way down to 147.60 which still seems to be holding. Like I said, these levels, they can be magic. If it bounced off of this, that'd be very interesting. But anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope you're all staying green. Thanks.